everyone. Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here. Uh, check out this video, the files ne needed to do this kind of stuff, and more st general stuff for the Nook tablet at my website, raywaldo.com. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to dual boot I Ice Cream Sandwich, ICS, which is what's running right here, and uh, the more stable, perhaps, uh, gingerbread CM7 version of uh, the uh, uh, gingerbread ROM. And uh, so this is, is Ice Cream Sandwich, ICS uh, version, uh, Android version 404, running on a Nook tablet 8 gigabyte. Uh, this is the 8 gigabyte version. Uh, you can do this on either version, 8 or 16. Uh, and this has been flashed, the ICS has been flashed directly to the internal memory of this device. It also includes Sienna Boot, and that allows you to do a few extra things. And I have flashed the Google Apps, and I have flashed the Clockwork Mod to it. So, uh, other than that, just my personal uh, links and things that I've put on here. And it's the standard version. So, uh, what you want to do if you want to dual boot is that you have to have uh, an, another, uh, I'm sorry, you have to have an SD card with the S, uh, CM7 version of the uh, Android on it. You have the internal running ice cream sandwich and the external SD card will be running the uh, CM7. This is CM9, CM7 on SD card. To switch between the two, uh, you just hold the power button until the power comes on. If you power off and power back on, it'll go into the, into the uh, CM7. If you do a reboot, it'll return to uh, ICS. And that's the same if you're in I, uh, CM7. Then if you do a reboot, it'll go to ICS. If you do a power off and power back on, it'll go into CM7. Okay, so we're going to switch over to CM7. So we power off. Yes. It shuts down. Okay, and before I power it back on, I'll show you the chip. Uh, this is just a, I'm running a 16 gigabyte sand disk and it is the uh, uh, multi, mobile ultra which is I believe class 6 chip runs very very fast as a matter of fact I think that uh, CM7 runs faster on the chip than ICS runs on the internal okay so now anytime that we power on directly from the power on uh, uh, button, it will go to CM7 or the C SD card. If you power, uh, if you have it powered on and do a reboot, then it'll go to ICS. Okay, so we're just going to power it on. Okay, there we go. And you'll see it's running the Team B version of uh, Sienna Gen Mod 7A Alpha for the uh, Nook tablet. And again, this works for Nook tablets, uh, both versions, the 8 gigabyte and the 16 gigabyte. Boots up pretty fast, takes about 30 seconds for it to boot up. And this is off the SD card again. It's running CM7. And there we go. Okay. Now it's still loading up some stuff in the background. Uh, I didn't want to reveal my code there. Okay, so uh, it's actually loading up now and uh, it takes it a moment for the Wi-Fi to load. Now the differences between the two, as I said, I believe the CM7 is a little bit more stable and uh, you can do the uh, YouTube videos uh, pretty consistently. They, they work real good. Over an ICS uh, YouTube is, is kind of flaky in my opinion. And a few other things in uh, ICS are a little bit, um, uh, just a little rough around the edges. They don't really operate quite as, 
as nice as things do. This is just stable. This is just what you have is what you have. Now you can't do Bluetooth in either. It's not real certain whether the NT has a Bluetooth radio inside it. Uh, some people suggest that it probably does, but uh, I don't think anybody's been able to get to it and use it yet. So neither will do Bluetooth, but the audio works on both of them, the video works on both of them. Uh, hardware acceleration, I can tell very little difference whether there's acceleration or not. Uh, everything seems to work fine. The difference between ICS, the good side of ICS, is that some of the applications are really kind of cool the way that they uh, work in 3D and those kind of things. So that's the big difference. Now, if we power off, hold the power button, and then reboot instead of power off. Now, if you power off, it's going to go right back to CM7. But if we reboot, it'll go to ICS. Okay, so we're going to reboot and go to ICS. And when you see that, I'll... Uh, you'll know that that's the way it works. Okay, so now here is Sienna Boot coming up. Now this is, you could hold the end button and get some other options about recovery and internal recovery and choose which one you wanted to boot from. But if you don't do anything, Sienna Boot will automatically boot the internal version, which in this case is the ICS. So it's coming up. Now ICS takes, seems to be just a little bit longer for it to boot uh, than CM7, but not too long. It's it's pretty quick too. Okay, there we go. Maybe it is a little quicker. Okay, so uh, there we go, and the uh, Wi-Fi is already connected on this one, so it looks like Wi-Fi might connect a little bit quicker, and uh, it does boot quicker, more uh, amazingly. I, I was thinking it was the other way around. Okay, there you go, and you have rebooted, and you go back into ICS, or you can power off, and go to CM7. So CM7, CM9, dual boot. Don't have to move the, uh, the SD card to do it either. Okay. Have a good day. Remember, all of this and the files necessary to do this kind of stuff are all available on my website, raywaldo.com. See you there.